I now have the heater matrix in place. I put it in the middle to even it out because I wanted some form around these pipes so they don't so the heater matrix doesn't chatter about. The stuff I used was I don't know this is climber logic but it comes in different thicknesses, different widths. Um, it's self adhesive and I wrapped that once around the whole heater and then a couple of bits and then using this <laughs> roots camping mat which is nice stuff because it's closed cell foam and it's really compressible look so nice uh, I uh, spray glued on the side and the heater just dropped in perfectly it just dropped right in and it is lovely so now when we put the top on somehow, very difficult to do with one hand all that air coming from here can only go through here next video I'm going to show you I'm going to pop rivet this on and we're going to do another test with the battery the heaters all now nicely painted and it was pointed out to me the other day and they said well why don't you put if you've got a left hand drive why don't you use a left hand drive heater blower there is a problem because the blades on the fan will go the wrong way. <laughs> it's a squirrel, what's called a squirrel cage fan. And it won't work efficiently. So you could use this heater box from a left hand drive and then theoretically turn the motor from this side to put it on this side. Um, but you've got to change this plastic squirrel cage. And knowing Land Rover that you can't buy them separately and I've never got one off in all my days without breaking it because they're so tight to get off. So I usually buy a, left, um, uh, a heater blower motor with this but I try to keep as many, when I do right hand drive conversions I keep as many the old parts as I can. Now I'm going to show you now the difference why we don't put left hand drive blowers on and you'll you'll see this look this is a piece of paper towel see that's going that way around that's how how a left hand drive one would work not very interesting is it now I'm going to swap over the leads on the battery because the DC motor will go either way around it doesn't really matter so watch this wow that is the proper way around then you can see and there isn't really a big problem with the heaters. The blower's great. It's just that it's forcing its way through a tiny little hole. And I meant to show you this the other day. I've got, still got it here. Wait a minute. This is the area of the hole that goes through the bulkhead. A great big heater and you're pushing it through a little hole like that. So you get turbulence and you get all sorts of problems. I'm chopping it out. Chop it out right to the size of that, into the heater box. And then we're going to modify the heater box in my own special way. So that's going to be maybe sometime later on this week. So the matrix is in. It's all fitted in. It's all nice and airtight. And we're going to do the same test with this paper towel to show you how this blows. And look at that. Now that is blowing through the matrix. That is really strong. It's really nice and strong. So, no air leaks out of anywhere. A little bit out of the front here. I'm going to put some seal around there. I didn't realise this bottom plate was bent. So I'm going to put some seal around there just to make sure. And that's what we're going to get. So we're going to get air pulled into here. Like me for this, I tell you, you'll be. Oh, what a great idea this was. Why didn't Land Rover think of it? Oh, there you go. 